Welcome to What Gear Reviews for the Battle of the Ultras. So first up we have Samsung's champion, the Galaxy S21 Ultra in the menacing Phantom Black. Next up, behold, Xiaomi's bold soldier, the Mi 11 Ultra, which has been designed by Xiaomi to rival the S21 in every area, starting with the price, it's a lot cheaper. If you wanna check out the recent, most up-to-date prices on these two devices, there'll be links below this video. And for those of you out there not so familiar with Xiaomi, they actually hold the number two spot for global market share when it comes to smartphone sales just below Samsung. And that's thanks to a jump of 85% in the last year, and that's probably thanks to this guy who banned Huawei from using Google. But that's a topic for an entirely different video. I do wanna say this, Xiaomi are awesome. And if you want the inside Intel and the latest deals from Xiaomi, make sure you join the Mi community. I'll leave a link below this video so you can go check it out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all comparisons screen, cameras, slow-mo, moon zooms, all that kind of good stuff. Make sure you stick around, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider doing it now. Just do it! You will be one of the finest subscribers, known to man. Anyway, you ready? Let's go. So we'll start with dimensions. The Mi 11 Ultra is actually 0.8 millimeters shorter than the Galaxy S21. It's also one millimeter thinner on the waistline and it's 0.5 millimeters thinner when it comes to depth as well. One thing I will say about this is that camera module right there is unapologetically huge. And I think you'll probably agree the Xiaomi actually does look like the bigger phone, even though it actually isn't. And one area of design that I really like here on the Samsung is the way the camera module kind of wraps around from the bezel. It's really, really beautiful. It's all one piece and you've got to love it. And one of the dimensions where the Samsung actually wins is the fact that it's actually seven grams lighter than the Mi 11 Ultra. But make no mistake here, both of these phones are heavyweight. So now let's talk about the build quality on both of these phones. So both phones are built upon aluminum bodies with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the front. Now Corning say this is the strongest glass they've ever made and it's four times stronger than the nearest competitor. So it is very premium. Here's the difference though, when we flip them round, the back of the S21 Ultra is also Gorilla Glass Victors, whereas Xiaomi have gone for ceramic. And that might be the reason why the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is slightly heavier. And both of these are IP68 rated, so they are submersible up to 1.5 meters in water for 30 minutes. Although considering the price, I wouldn't risk getting them wet. So let me do it for you. Let's look at the most important aspect on any smartphone side by side is the displays. Both phones use Samsung Super AMOLED panels, both have an amazing 515 pixel per inch density and both support rapid 120Hz refresh rate. But here's a few differences. The Mi 11 Ultra screen has 200 nits more peak brightness than the S21 Ultra and Xiaomi have also managed to deliver a better screen to body ratio and a slightly ever so slightly bigger screen by 0.1 millimeters. Although I do prefer the way the S21 Ultra screen lines up in the corner compared to the Mi 11 Ultras. And in fact, I actually prefer the more squared off edges in general, but that's just me. So overall, which is better? Well, here's the thing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You can give two brilliant artists the same canvas and the same paints. It's what they do with them that makes the difference. So on paper, the Mi 11 Ultra wins, but looking at them side by side, you could make a strong case for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And just looking at the colors out of the box, the reds definitely pop a bit more on the Samsungs and it's definitely more vivid. But always remember, you can go in and do a custom calibration and enhance the saturation and change the white balance and all this other kind of stuff. So it's hard to say, but I will say this, no matter which one of these you prefer, they are both top tier displays and the very best on the market right now. All right, so it's definitely worth mentioning both of these devices have stereo speakers built in 
And what I'm gonna do now is a quick speaker test. I've got the mic set up about 30 centimeters away from the phones. I'm gonna play them at max volume so you guys can hear which one's louder, which one has the better quality when it comes to sound. Check it out. Instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. Your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. His exploits. Legendary. His exploits are legendary. Now, the brains of the operation. Here in Europe, we get Samsung's own Exynos 2100 five nanometer platform, which is a powerhouse, but it's quite significantly outperformed by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888. And in America, you guys have the luxury of being able to get S21 Ultras and S21s with Snapdragon 888, but not here in Europe. But anyone who buys a Mi 11 Ultra will get the Snapdragon 888. And that makes the value proposition, particularly here in Europe, even more appealing. And in terms of memory options, the max configuration on the Mi 11 Ultra is 512 gigabyte ROM, 12 gigabyte RAM, which is massive. However, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra can go up to 512 gigabyte ROM and 16 gigabyte RAM. That's four gigs more. Both phones have fast UFS 3.1 storage, but no option for aggressive expansion via an SD card slot. Let me know what you guys think about SD card slots in 2021. Do we still need them? Now onto the shooters. So here's where it gets interesting. The S21 Ultra has a quad camera array and the Mi 11 Ultra has a triple shooter. The primary shooters are very different. Samsung have gone with a 108 megapixel sensor versus Xiaomi's 50 megapixel primary shooter. Now it's important to know more megapixels doesn't necessarily equate to a better camera. Remember my artist and the canvas analogy? The same thing applies here. The glass, the focal length, the sensors, the dimensions, and even the chipset all play a part. Now here on the periscope zoom is where Xiaomi claimed back the numbers victory because Samsung's periscope zoom lens has just a 10 megapixel sensor behind it compared to Xiaomi's 48 megapixel, but does it look better? And it's the same story here with the ultra wide. Samsung have gone with a 12 megapixel sensor, whereas Xiaomi once again have gone with a 48. But the question remains, is it better? And here's a little something extra for the money on the Samsung Galaxy. It is the dedicated telephoto. That's a 10 megapixel sensor behind that. And that's something the Xiaomi doesn't have. And when it comes to selfie cameras, Samsung win the numbers game here. They've got a 40 megapixel sensor and it can shoot 4K video. Whereas on the Xiaomi, we've got a 20 megapixel sensor, which is still really good. And it can shoot 1080p, 60 frames per second. And now let's check out the slow-mo. So before we wrap this up, there still is more important features you need to know about before you make your decision. So the S21 Ultra uses Qualcomm's ultrasonic fingerprint reader under the display, which is superior from a security standpoint in comparison to Xiaomi's optical fingerprint sensor, which uses light instead of sound. So that's a win for the Samsung. The Xiaomi does have an IR blaster though. So if you lose your remote controls, 
Frequently, this is going to be a very useful feature for you. The USB ports on both devices are slightly different. On the S20 Ultra, it's actually a USB 3.2 port, whereas on the Mi 11 Ultra, it's a 2.0 port. That's a little difference, but it's a win for the Samsung there. But here's a big win for the Xiaomi. Both phones have 5,000 milliamp hour batteries, which is massive, but the recommended Samsung charger is just 25 watts, whereas the charger in the box with the Xiaomi is 67 watts and can go from zero to 100 in 37 minutes. That's almost twice as fast as the S21 Ultra. And check this out, the Xiaomi has wireless charging capabilities as well, and so does the Samsung. The Samsung charges at 15 watts on a wireless charger, but the Xiaomi, just like the wired connection, can charge at 67 watts. That's incredible. And the last thing I should mention when it comes to battery is they both can do reverse wireless charging, which means they can charge other devices on the back of them. And it's another win for the Xiaomi. The S21 Ultra can charge at 4.5 watts, whereas the Xiaomi can charge at 10 watts. But here is an area where Samsung clearly wins, and it's in the audio department. The S21 Ultra supports 32-bit audio at 384 kilohertz, which is insane. I actually didn't even realize it had this until I started fact-finding for this video. The Mi 11 Ultra does also support high-res audio, but at the more traditional 24 bits, 192 kilohertz. The funny thing here, though, is both phones have been tuned by different companies, or so it would seem. So the S21 Ultra is tuned by AKG and the Mi 11 Ultra is tuned by Harman and Kardon. Both companies are actually under Samsung, under the banner Harman. So technically they're both tuned by the same company, kind of. And you know what's crazy with all things considered, both of these phones are truly top tier right now, but 10 years from now, people will look back at videos like this and be like, wow, look how bad smartphones were in 2021. And that's why if you ever see a website or a reviewer give something five stars, you probably shouldn't listen to them. Because that's like saying there's no room for improvement. And when it comes to tech, I think there always will be room for things to get better. Now, with that said, how many stars out of five would you give each of these phones? And feel free to use decimal points and let me know in the comments below which one won this battle of the ultras so i appreciate you guys for watching this far into the video if you just subscribed you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man and i will see you guys in the next one so don't be late the rest is quite simple really